Well, let's begin. Thank you for coming on WMNF. Tell our yeah. listeners when and where President Trump will be in town and what your group's response is. So um, President Trump will be here on July 31st um, at the Florida Fairgrounds. Um, our response is that he's not welcome here. He's created a lot of uh, division. He's created um, he's created a feeling of of anger and a feeling of hurt in our communities. He hasn't. He has used his power to divide us. He's a, he has used our, his power to disrespect us and um, try to take away our right, our First Amendment right to assemble. Um, uh, if we look at what happened in DC when they were protesting up there, um, he brought out uh, the tear gas and everything to walk across to get to a church. He's, he's blatantly um, disrespecting and and using every power he has to try to silence us. And your organization that you're forming for this event, at least, is called Wall of Moms. What does Wall of Moms mean, and where does that come from? So Wall of Moms, um, it origin originated in uh, Portland, um, and what it is, it's it's moms were uh, using our bodies to protect protesters. So with the Wall of Moms, um, if you go uh, read about the website, one of the first things, their goal is to use the, it's to use their bodies and not their voices. Um, me as a, a mother, I'm just gonna speak as a mother. So uh, as a mother, we, we have this uh, primal need to protect. Um, we, when you become a mother, the first thing that it's like the mama bear concept, right? You, you want to protect uh, the, your child at, at all costs. So we want to extend that to the protesters, specifically black and brown uh, protesters that are using their First Amendment right and using their voice to um, fight against injustice. In Portland, though, some of the moms got tear gassed and some got beaten and arrested. Are you concerned that something like that might happen in Tampa? Um, yes. I mean, it's always a possibility, um, but we're, you know, we're prepared for that. Um, that's what we're trying to do is to protect as many black and brown bodies as we can. Um, I, just be, uh, from being an organizer of Black Lives Matter, whenever we've um, done marches or organized anything, uh, we're, we're a peaceful movement. We, we go forward peacefully. Um, but uh, even here in Tampa, we've seen that the, the police department have used uh, excessive force, unneeded, um, tear gas, rubber bullets. So it's always a possibility. If people want to find out more, where can they go? Is there some place online that they can find out more information? Um, yes, for Wall of Moms, uh, there's a, a Facebook page. I mean, sorry, there's a website and there's also a Twitter page. So just search for those keywords? Yes, you can search Wall of Moms Tampa. Um, there's a, there was also a creative uh, learning, uh, I believe it's called, it's, it's um, a, a article an article that was written. In Creative Loafing. Is there, anything, creative else, lo is there anything else you'd like to tell our listeners before I let you go? Um, yeah, I just, um, as a mom, I, I think what Wall, is, Wall of Moms has done is, is very important. Um, I think it's shown that, you know, as moms, we wear our motherhood like a headpiece, right? When you talk to a mom uh, and you say, oh, so, tell me about being a mom it could be hours right of like just talking about their children talking about how it's changed them and me personally as a mom that I know that's how I am um but also what comes with motherhood is like a fierceness and a boldness hello sorry I got a call um it's a fierceness and a boldness um that it's like a strength and the fact that Wall of Mom's been able to use that as a superpower 
and and using that primal need to protect uh, people of color, specifically black and brown bodies, it was necessary. Um, just in my circle of mothers, uh, or circle of friends of mine that are mothers, um, I I was you know there were times I was concerned because I myself and I'm, I'm a mother of um, my son is black and Latino, and you know and it, that is one of my driving reasons that I organize and I fight. Um, so I found the two reasons is for him to make sure and to do whatever I can to make sure that this world is better for him um, someday. You know, that's, that's, the, that's one of my reasons. And now another, reasons, uh, another reason I've realized um, in organizing is that I now fight along mothers who have lost their children due to sanctioned, state sanctioned violence. And when, you, when it's deepened, it's deepened my connection to this, to fight alongside them and, and to be there and to cry with them and to hear them. I now fight for their child as well, for the justice for their child, where we're one with us. So, so having something like Wall of Moms and, and having mothers, come out and boldly say um we're going to stand and we're going to use our superpowers and as mothers to to protect it is is very empowering and um if i if i if i can say one more thing um um as a uh, as a latina as an afro latina being able to see an organization that was created by white ally mothers and how open they are to um, center or un them understanding that they to center black and brown women uh, is so important. Um, just having worked with Black Lives Matter, just having seen like past feminist movements, it's something that has I haven't seen before. And most of the time, it's performative, but with the the um, wall of mothers um i've seen that it's a genuine thing when you the first thing you see is that uh they want to use uh one of the things on the website is if they want to use their white body not their white voices and that's hard to find because a lot of times um there's organizations who say that but they're not necessarily ready to put an a person of color a, a, a black or latin or indigenous woman uh in the middle in the center so that's something that's refreshing and it's uh wonderful to be a part of well lilia thank you so much for coming on my show today thank you so much for joining wmnf thank you all right take care bye-bye